I tried Dana K. White's cleaning routine for one month because you all kept commenting. Have you tried Dana K. White? Have you tried Dana K. White? Will you try it next year? Will you try it last year? Tried it? Have you tried it? Dana K. White? Dana K. White? Have you tried it? Okay, I'll do it. Since you all seem very passionate about this Dana K. White, and if she knows the secret to a clean home, then that is someone I have to check out because my house is a disaster zone. Having a baby and a preschooler has turned my home into a giant fire hazard. If there's a fire, we're not getting out of here. I'll be tripping over the walker, falling headfirst into the bouncer, and then being crushed by a four-year-old who will make me the bouncer. So yeah, I need help. And Dana White has the answers to all of my problems, according to you guys. But who is she? Well, I hired a private investigator to look into her. This woman was willing to be paid in ice cream, so worked out great. So what the investigator found was that Dana White started a blog in 2009 called A Slob Comes Clean, where she shares her cleaning, organizing, and decluttering strategies. She is now an author of three books, a podcaster, and a YouTuber. We have something in common. While my highly rated investigator was tracking her blog, we found that Dana mainly gives decluttering advice, but deep into the investigation, a cleaning routine was discovered. Yes, a cleaning routine, in which cleaning may be completed using a routine to the benefit of the home being cleaned routinely. Okay, I'm done fooling around. This cleaning routine caught my eye and my ear from you guys incessantly mentioning it because it really just focuses on the fundamentals, the things that need to get done. And life has been so crazy with a baby that I haven't been following a cleaning system at all. So having a routine that just tends to the things that absolutely have to get done, I can get by. And Dana provides you with only two lists, a daily checklist and a weekly checklist. No monthly. I think she'd rather you just spend your extra time decluttering, which she has many videos on that. But today, we are going to put all of our attention on this very basic cleaning routine. So starting with her daily checklist, let's talk about the very first and most important task on that list. Do your dishes. Just do your dishes. That's what she said. Just do your dishes. When she began her journey of trying to keep a clean home, she focused on one thing and one thing only making sure the dishes were done. Nothing else in the house mattered until she cleaned her dishes. And even today, 14 years later, she still preaches to her viewers that the dishes are the most important task of the home. So we are gonna make it a priority above all else. Your floors are covered in toys, do the dishes. Your bathtub is so dirty it's turning yellow, do the dishes. Your legs are hairier than a gorilla's, do the dishes, just, just do the dishes. So that's just what I did. All the other chores were overlooked until every last dish was clean. I did the dishes while dinner was being cooked. I did the dishes one-handed. I did the dishes in my PJs when I really just wanted to go to bed. And I even did the dishes while having to entertain a five-month-old baby, which is kind of exhausting. It may look like I'm having a great time, but if you look a little closer, you may see something much, much different. Now, if anyone knows me, you know dishes are my worst enemy. But this week, I went head to head against Vol Dishmort, and it felt good to have defeated the dark wizard of dirty dishes. Who knew I had such power in my hands? I don't even need a wand to get these dishes done. But I, I still need a dishwasher, so can somebody please install a dishwasher? Now, if you're lucky enough to have a dishwasher, then you're gonna wanna start it before bed because the next task on her daily checklist is to empty the dishwasher, which is best done in the morning. But since I don't have one, I am emptying our dish drainer. It was weird actually having an empty sink this month and being able to wash my hands without water running off the dishes onto the floors. And having the dishes done was not only stress relieving, but it also motivated me to keep going. A clean sink caused me to crave a clean counter. Next minute, I find myself wiping the walls. Like, who even does that? Who cleans their walls? I know the best wall cleaner around. <laughs> Paint when it's time to redo a room. All right, I think we've talked enough about the dishes. The next task on our daily checklist is making the bed. Even after all the cleaning routines I've tried, I have yet to find one that doesn't tell you to make your bed. And I get it because I love jumping into a perfectly made bed at night. It's inviting, it's relaxing, it's a nice way to end a long day. But I gotta say, I hate making it and I can't seem to keep up with it. I may stick with it for a short time, but I quickly go back to my slobbish ways. 
maybe this will be the time I stick with it. I mean, after all, Skyla loves it and she's pretty adorable, even when I put her in her brother's clothes. Now the last thing she recommends you do is a five minute pickup. Set a timer for five minutes and then pick things up off the floor and put them away. Don't just set them in another room, actually put the items where they are supposed to go. And if you're a mom, then you'll have plenty of stuff on the floor to pick up. Although five minutes may not be enough time for me. I don't feel like I got that much done. Yeah, I felt that way, but now that I'm watching this video, the after looks much better than the before. However, I didn't feel like this five minute pickup helped me too much in the long run, since my son would come home from school and make a big mess again and five minutes just weren't enough to keep up on it. Maybe I just need to be better about having him clean up after himself. This may be the end of her list of daily tasks, but she adds all these empty spaces so that you can add onto the list yourself. She also gives you access to her own personal list where she has added cleaning tasks that apply to her, but recommends that you make your own list based on the requirements of your home. Because we're all different people with different cleaning needs, so there really isn't a one size fits all cleaning routine. And if you're able to complete these four tasks, each day to the point where they start to feel natural, then you can add in another task that may fit your cleaning needs. But she says that these four tasks are the foundation habits that you need to work towards having an orderly home. All right, what about the weekly tasks? Well, she has five weekly tasks and she gives you the freedom to put them on whatever day you want because we don't all have the same schedule, right? Maybe you can vacuum your whole house on Monday, but I can't, I'm at the club the West Side Moms Club. We meet at 10. So starting with Monday, which I chose to be my grocery shop and errand day. We all have things that we have to get done outside of the house. Scheduling a day to do so allows your other days to be more productive because you're not going out multiple times a week. And everyone knows I'm big on meal planning, so it's also good to have a scheduled shopping day to keep things organized and consistent. I plan my meals on Sunday, I shop on Monday. And this keeps me accountable to complete my mail plans in time for my designated shopping day. All right, come on, I'll be right with you. Thank you. I decided to start doing Hannaford to go pick up because ugh, with a baby, I just, okay, I won't make excuses. I started this when I was pregnant. It's true. Pregnancy made me tired and I don't want to shop anymore. Now the baby makes me tired and I still don't want to shop. Here's my little chunky monkey. Everybody loves a chunky baby. Nothing better than a chunky monkey. This is also true. Nothing better than a chunk of monkey cause a chunk of monkey is so fun and funky. Nothing better than a chunk of monkey cause a chunk of monkey is so fun and funky. Mm -hmm. After I finished dancing with my funky chunky monkey, I then put the rest of the groceries away while simultaneously entertaining. What can I say? I'm a class act. Happy birthday to you. Moving on to Tuesday, which just happens to be the day that we tackle laundry. If you've already tried other cleaning routines, then you know they all say the same thing about it. One load a day from start to finish is all it takes to simplify the laundry. A load a day keeps Mount Washmore away. A load of washing every day keeps the wolf from the door. <laughs> yeah, I can't do accents, but let me tell you, I finally found a cleaning routine that isn't telling me to do laundry every day. <laughs> In Dana's routine, she has you dedicate one and only one day to laundry a week. But how can you do this if you have a large family and seven loads to do? Well, she has you start your first load the night before, particularly something that may take longer than usual to dry, and let it dry while you're sleeping. There you go. You've already got one load done, only six to go the next day. And as long as you get up nice and early to start, then there's no reason that you can't finish before bed. So here I am, seven in the morning, starting the next load of laundry before my son goes to school. I had no time to dress for the sake of this video, but it's a good thing I look so fly in a bathrobe. Pretty sure if I wore this on my first date with my husband, he still would have married me. I just, I rock a bathrobe. So it will be interesting to learn how many loads of dirty laundry we make a week. And she says to do it all, your bed sheets, your towels, everything gets washed this day. You know what my favorite part of doing laundry is? The excuse to watch TV. It's one of the only chores that you can pair with a show. And as moms, we often feel guilty for sitting down to watch TV. We feel like we have to always be doing something productive. But hey, look, I'm being productive while watching a show. Though I don't believe we should feel guilty for allowing ourselves free time. No one in the world needs it more than us moms. 
So as you watch me fold lots and lots of laundry, let's ask the question, why does the famous advice of doing a load of laundry a day never work for me, no matter how hard I've tried? Because I have a terrible memory. I like the idea of doing a load a day, sounds good, but I just can't seem to implement it. I put a load in the washer, I forget to put it in the dryer. Four hours later, I switch it from the washer to the dryer. And then, when the dryer's done drying, I put it on the couch and then I forget to fold it. Next morning comes, I forget to even start a new load. It's just too many things to remember too many times a week. But with this system, I've got one day dedicated to it. I'm not gonna forget. In the same way I don't forget that I go to church on Sunday, I'm not gonna forget that I do laundry on Tuesdays. And the best part is that I get to relax then the other six days of the week. No more constantly worrying about laundry. I already have to do this with the dishes and that's stressful enough. I don't know why I didn't just come to the conclusion that I could do multiple loads in one day. It has taken such a load of stress off my back, no pun intended. So on laundry day, I only focused on folding laundry. Nothing else mattered that day but getting through the piles of clothes. It was my sole priority. And after doing this laundry system for a few more weeks, I realized it was much better to throw all of my clothes onto the bed so that I couldn't go to sleep for the night until it was all folded and put away. I finished washing and drying all the laundry by two, finished folding it all by six, and discovered that we make four loads of dirty laundry a week. I approve of this laundry system. Moving on to Wednesday, which is bathroom cleaning day. I decided to just clean one bathroom because I knew two would be too much. I think I would be fine cleaning two bathrooms if I actually kept up on them. But with the baby, I go months without scrubbing my bathtub or mopping the floors. Yes, this baby has become my excuse for everything. No, I can't clean the house, I gotta hold the baby. No, I can't go out, I don't have a babysitter. No, I can't donate a dollar, the baby ate my dollar. The excuses are endless. Bathroom cleaning day is a good thing because what is the room that we are most embarrassed of when company comes? Is it not the bathroom? When Aunt Patty comes to the door, are we not scrambling to scrub the toilets, clear the hair products, and get the dried toothpaste out of the sink? This is a big problem area for many of us. And you all know if you go a month without cleaning a bathroom, it's going to be a 40 minute scrub down. But I'm sure if I kept up with cleaning this room every Wednesday, then what are we looking at? A 10 minute clean? 5 minute? Whether it be a weekly task or a daily task like the fly lady does it, bathrooms need to be in a cleaning routine because they get dirty very fast. And before I move on to Thursday, does anyone know how I can remove rust stains from a bathtub because I can't seem to get this one out. Anyway, let's go to Thursday. Today we dust and vacuum. I have now switched to dusting with a microfiber cloth instead of a duster. I find it works best. Seems like the commercial dusters just throw half of the dust right into the air. But the microfiber cloth keeps it all in one spot. And yes, you are going to see lots of Christmas decor because I filmed this video in December. I'm just now getting around to putting it on YouTube. This was my first week of doing this routine, but I actually continued it for a month. I didn't want to post it until I had a good opinion on how my experience was. Since a lot of you have mentioned to me that one week isn't enough to give an honest review of a cleaning routine. Having a day to dust and vacuum forced me to clean up all the clutter. These floors were covered in stuff. How else was I supposed to have room to vacuum? So I had to make time to not only vacuum and dust, but to also pick everything up, which took longer than I would have liked it to. Maybe if I wouldn't be such a slob, but I don't know if it's possible to change my ways. Dana K. White seems to think that it's possible. But is it possible with a five month old baby? Not sure about that. She's the reason I'm such a slob. Yeah, you don't just have to have babies to make excuses to get out of things, but you can also blame them for your problems. Like who farted? Wasn't me, it was the baby. See? Yeah, cleaning with a baby is a bit difficult, but here I am, living proof that you can do it. My best advice is to do it right after a nap when they're at their happiest. And then you have like a 15 minute window before they turn on you. My baby is freaking Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Mrs. Hyde, Miss Hyde. It wasn't a good joke. I shouldn't have made it. All right, so I feel like Thursday is pretty self-explanatory. Let's move on to Friday, which is very simple. She just has you mop the kitchen. Why just the kitchen and not the whole house? Probably because the kitchen is most likely to have sticky messes, such as jelly or juice or jambalaya. Lots of foods that start with J have the potential to make a mess. 
And I just got a new mop for Christmas, which I love. It's got a sprayer right on it with cleaning solution inside the mop so I can just spray as I go. I love living in 2023 where everything is made simple. I'll link this mop in the description for those of you who are interested in one yourself. All right, so what are my thoughts of this cleaning routine? Let's start with the pros. The laundry system, life-changing for me. Yeah, it may sound silly, but I needed someone to tell me that I could do all my laundry in one day. I spent so much time being dragged down, trying to keep up with one load a day, and it made me feel like a failure. Like, why can't I get a hold of laundry? What is wrong with me? These are the kind of thoughts I would have. So I needed someone like Dana to tell me a different way of doing it. And now I finally feel like I have control of my laundry. Another pro, her making dishes a priority. This is why you guys kept bringing her up to me. Finally, a cleaning expert that makes dishes the main focus. Clean mama, organized mom, they didn't even mention dishes. I would follow their routines and my sink would be out of control and it was overwhelming. But Dana says no. Do your dishes before you do anything else. I don't know about you guys, but when my dishes aren't done and they're just piling up everywhere, I feel out of control. I can deal with the floors being dirty. I can deal with the beds being unmade. But when the sink is full, that's when my stress levels start to rise. So do your bowl dish morts. And the last pro would be the fact that she recognizes we're all different. And while you may have dogs and need to sweep daily, I don't, so I don't need to do that. Or while Dana needs a daily reminder to close her cabinet doors, you don't because that's something she struggles with, not you. She gives you the freedom to fill in your own needs, all while agreeing that everyone should prioritize dishes and laundry. There's things that all of us have to do and then there's things that just some of us have to do. All right, moving on to the cons of this system. A five minute pickup when you have kids just isn't enough time. I'd recommend a 15 minute pickup, but not everyone has 15 extra minutes on their hands, so this is barely a con. I just don't have many negative things to say about this routine. The only other con that I think is worth mentioning is that this really isn't a full cleaning routine. It's not gonna keep your house clean. It will keep your laundry dishes and bathroom under control, but other than that, your house will still be messy unless you add to that list of tasks, which she encourages you to do. I like this routine because my biggest struggle is the laundry and the dishes. I needed someone who could help me with these two things. And right now, with the baby, excuse time, I'm kind of okay with the house being a mess. I know it's just for a short time. But you know what I'm not okay with? Dirty laundry and dirty dishes. So Dana, thank you. Your routine was a huge help to me. Speaking of cleaning with babies, click here if you'd like to see me try the Fly Lady cleaning system with a newborn. Can I do it? You're just gonna have to watch and find out. See you there.